Hey everyone, I'm in FIFA 23 and I'm going to show you how to take corners. So here's the ball. Uh, we'll take the corner and then I'll explain how this system works. Right, so when it comes... Oh, and there's the goal. So how does it work? So to practice this, what I suggest you do is go into play modes and go into ultimate team. And in FIFA 23, there's a new mode called moments. And one of the moments that you can keep practicing is corners. And the reason why I suggest this is you can just corner, 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 corner until you're really comfortable with the system as opposed to playing games and occasionally getting used to them. So when you're in this mode, go over to uh, moments. So it's by squad battles. I was going to say squad battles there. That would be wrong. Uh, go over to pitch perfect. And then when you're in here, go all the way across until you find set pieces and it's the first one, a corner kick goal. So we're gonna select this one. And basically this is a moment set up using your ultimate team against uh, one of the game's ultimate team systems for moments. So you can see they're not all that. Um, you can change your kick colors if you want. Uh, so we'll do that, we'll press play. And uh, when this loads, what we will have is a scenario that we can keep repeating, which is the corner. Now the corner, um, sort of left stick what I'm moving here is moving the direction of the ball if I hit X on the Xbox or that would be square on the PlayStation that's going to do the cross so I'll hold that down I'll do it full just so you can let's see that's that going to go right way. across so you don't want to do it that far so let's restart the moment and we'll do that a bit gentler now so what you're aiming for is normally between half and three quarters so I'll try try and go in between those for you here and roughly in the middle there um, so there's half and you can see that was actually quite nice. We were close. We were close there So let's restart the moment again and have another little look at what we can do So what we haven't put into place now is the right stick if you move the right stick fully to the right You will do a curl on the ball Can you see that little circle indicated by the bottom of the corner flag? So that's going to do a more vicious curl into the box So we'll try that and we'll bang it in with quite a lot of pace. Ah oh, I've missed the header lovely corner in though so I just couldn't quite get the header um, so we'll do that again um, but we can also make it lower by moving the right stick right up the top of the ball so I'm moving up on the right stick and that's going to make it very very low indeed so if I go maybe there add a bit of pace um, it should keep the ball nice and low um, you can use set pieces if you look down the bottom left hand side if we press down on the d-pad you can then choose up left right or down depending on what you want to do so if we want to say run near far post we can do that and that's what they're going to do now and if i want to cross the ball i just hit x um, and He's in it comes the but the keeper got it so the other things you can do you can call for a second player if you want to take a short corner up the top right you should see buttons rb does that on the xbox um, and there comes my player so i can now do a short kick or i could fool them and just um, do it there but we'll just do a little pass uh, using a for that and uh, that'd be x on the, um, the playstation route. Uh, the other thing you can do is change your kick taker. If you hit right trigger, we will get someone else to come and change for the kick. So if I hold that down, um, I can choose from these different ones here and see who's good for what. Um, so we can see the different ones. So curve is obviously means they're going to do a good curve, but you can see Alexander Arnold is about the best that I've got here. Uh, it's not really anyone who can do it um, better. If you don't kick the ball quick enough, it's going to do that. It's just going to automatically kick the ball because you can't time waste too long. Um, you can also set a target if you want, uh, so you can have the target indicator on and off with the uh, up button on the D-pad, so you can see that there, um, so that's up to you whether you want that on or not. To get a goal from a corner is quite challenging, but if you look to curl the ball around defenders, put in a reasonable bit of pace and look for a player doing a little run, hopefully you'll get a goal like that. So we'll see the little replay there. Let's take another look, and there's the deflection. And from that moment on, the keeper had no chance, did he? To set your corner takers, you can do this inside Ultimate Team in the squad view. So if you go into here, then hit your left trigger or whatever it shows your squad actions, that would be L2 on the PlayStation, and go over to Custom Tactics, select A, or that would be X on the PlayStation, and then right button or R1 over to Rolls, and here you will see your left corner and your right corner takers. So you can see in my case here, this Trent Alexander-Arnold for both. If I want to change it, I simply hit Select here, and then I can see some key stats like his curve, long pass, short pass, free kick accuracy here. And you can see he's all good for these. So that's why it's suggesting to pick him. But I can use anyone else on the team here. So we can see Stones here is quite good at long pass and short pass, but no good at curve. And Chilwell is not bad either. Uh, Kovacic is pretty good with the short pass, but free kick accuracy is so-so. So you could choose a left or right-footed player if you so wish. Uh, but that's where you change him. 
And that's how to take corners in FIFA 23. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If there's anything still confusing you about corners or you've got any tips, hit them up in the comments. That'd be awesome. If you like FIFA 23, have a little look at the rest of the tutorials that I put at the end of this video. Hopefully they help you out. Uh, and if they do and you want to be kept up to date with my latest and greatest, hit that subscribe button. I don't just cover FIFA 23, but any game that's confusing to play. So hopefully I can help you out with other games as well. Thanks so much.